hello there. I am Taylor, and you are listening to the Surviving Maine podcast deep dive interview series. Uh, about, uh, well, over a year ago now, I spoke with most of the cast of Surviving Maine season four just weeks after they played the game. So these interviews are untainted by the edited show. It's just how each player remembers their game, what was important to them, what were their favorite moments, what are their regrets. These interviews I've been doing since season two, and they are just kind of a way for the players to have a cathartic expression of their game without having had to see themselves on screen. So now for my interview with the hero turned villain, Zach. Zach, hello. Hello. It's good to see you and talk to you. I'm sorry that you got voted out, though. (laughs) Uh, You know, I've had time to uh, get over it. I uh, definitely, um, I thought about a lot, like, immediately after, but, you know, it it was pretty quick to get over. My hot take is um, if you're going to get voted out, early jury's the place to go. Yeah. Um, Because if you get late jury, that's when you start, like, crying when you get voted out because you were so close. With early jury, it's like you played a lot, you still get to be on the jury, but, like, you're not it's not as emotionally damaging as getting so close to the end and losing that's so true like the people who feel like they've played so well and make it pretty far like Mm -hmm. it's a devastating and and you're Mm -hmm. so exhausted Mm -hmm. so you just can't help but just weep (laughs) yeah now i was you know probably really sad for i don't know 20 minutes and then it was just a bummer yeah exactly yeah so it's been a few weeks since Mm -hmm. since everyone played um so i gotta say i can't wait to get into your decision to play Mm -hmm. that idol for dave because i've had Mm -hmm. a few interviews so far and everyone's baffled by this okay what was he thinking the two people in particular were like i wanted to work with him why would he turn on me that kind Mm. of thing that just didn't okay. make logical sense. So I'm looking forward to understanding your logical thought process of mm. why this was good for your game. But mm. let's start from the beginning. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, so you get to the location on that whatever Thursday, Friday it was. Mm-hmm. Friday. Um, and what are you thinking? You Are you seeing mm-hmm. people in a field? Are you the first one there? What's going on? Yeah, I think I got there. I was probably like, it was probably like the low teens when I got there. So there was a good amount of people already sitting there. Um, My initial thought was like, I think it must have been a lot of like Flagstaff people there. Like the Sebago people must have rolled in last because I was like, man, no one actually did dark blue like they were supposed to. I'm the only (laughs) one who read the email correctly. And then I think as we were sitting there or I think as I did like my very first intro confessional, I was like taking peeks at everyone and I noticed there were three different colors for the uh, ribbons Mm -hmm. and then eventually 18 people showed up and it was like oh okay we're doing three tribes Mm -hmm. but um yeah it was uh it was interesting just like it was so tense to sit there for like 30 minutes being like oh my god we're so close to actually starting yeah oh imagine how the people who were there for over an hour felt right I can't (laughs) imagine that is brutal I would lose my mind. Yeah, brutal. Um, uh, how do you feel about the three tribes? Did that kind of surprise you or were you upset about it? Um, I wasn't too surprised. Like, I-, I just had like a gut feeling like, oh, it could definitely be a possibility as it always could be. Mm-hmm. Um, it definitely was worrisome at first because like, obviously with just two tribes, there's so much like, there's more room to maneuver you know, you can just make, like, good connections with everyone, and you'll likely get pulled into an alliance, Mm -hmm. but, like, with a tribe of six, it's very easy, especially if you end up going to multiple tribal councils, to just be someone who, like, at a certain point, we like you, but we gotta vote someone. So, all of a sudden, the stakes get raised in terms of how important it is to make the connections with everyone and find a group that you want to work with super quick. Mm -hmm. So, when you um, met 
up with your group and you're like on that path and they're like okay you're allowed to talk now what were you yeah. thinking about that this tribe and who were you bonding with first um so I think the first person like when I saw who the six were I knew I wanted to work with Sandra just because I was like oh this is cool badass older woman playing in one of these games often older women are like discounted in these games um, or older people in general so yeah. I wanted to give her a chance right off the bat and I just got the sense like she was there to play yeah. I think she mentioned to everyone that she had played in Outlast, so I knew she okay. had LRG experience. Um, and it worked. Like, she was sending me good vibes, too, because we have a mutual friend who she played with on Outlast, um, and she knew me from Survivor Millennium Park. Okay, cool. Um, so she instantly wanted to work with me because she recognized me, and I wanted to work with her just because I thought she was cool. So instantly, Sandra was the person I was like, I want to try and get an alliance with this person. And then everyone else, it was just like good vibes. Like that's the thing with LRGs is like <laughs> on the show, there's usually like a very clear person who's like probably going to be on the bottom. Yeah. There's going to be someone who's, you know, kind of a jerk or just doesn't fit in too well. But like LRGs tend to get good people applying to them or yes. like accepted and cast them. There's probably some not so good people who apply. Egg, but yes. um, <laughs> LRG hosts tend to be good about who they cast. So there's never like a super obvious person where it's like, okay, that, that per we don't have to worry about the very first tribal council. So that was cool in terms of connecting with people because mm. I got to connect because it's six very different people, I think. Yeah. And that's a Vago tribe, but it's like, it, it makes it even more tense where it's like, okay, we don't have like a crazy on our team. And I feel like the other tribes, you know, maybe, they have the people did. who really, who characters. <laughs> Yeah, you know, um, for sure. yeah. Um, so it's like, oh man, like I really gotta hope I do well here. Um, uh, to not be like first one out if we go to tribal council. Yeah, which we didn't. <laughs> right, which you didn't. You just kept winning or coming in yeah. second place, right? You yeah, never went to insane. tribal until the swap. Until the swap, yeah, yeah. Sebago just dominated. A lot of that was definitely um Seth. Like on it, like all six of us were really good at different things, but like. There was at least one of those reward challenges. It's the one with in, that involved the BB gun and then throwing the things. Like, yeah, Seth like basically soloed the second half of the challenge, and he knew the solution to the puzzle because oh, it was dang. a main slogan or something like that. Uh... It was a saying people in Maine would know. So he basically <laughs> like soloed that whole challenge. Um, Seth was such a challenge beast in the tribal portion. Awesome. Um, but yeah, we just like we kept doing so well even during that were just the reward challenge process like i think we only came in last for one challenge mm -hmm. um and everything else we came in second or first mm -hmm. yeah was there anything else about that first day but before before the journey mm -hmm. that you wanted to talk about before the journey i'm trying to remember where the journey was on the first day yeah with um, oh my who God. Went? uh lauren lauren went yes, from lauren trip. goes I'm trying to remember that would have been probably towards the middle of the day. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, we, you know, camps, thankfully, we camps were sort of almost already set up for us based off yeah. what had happened the last season. If yeah. you weren't flagstaff, you were in pretty good uh, condition yeah. once we got there. Um, and then, like, you know, we just had Seth, like, like pulling out entire dead trees, like just dragging them <laughs> out of the forest for like firewood and then like striking the flint twice and getting a fire roaring oh wow um, and like if he wasn't there i think also maddie would have been able to step up because she had done like uh, a class for her school of, of like you know wilderness survival oh wow. so like if we didn't have seth for everything we would have still had someone doing everything for us the so two neighbors, it was huh yeah it was um <laughs> it was kind of easy living uh for, for a lot of that uh first day Nice. Okay. Okay. So you're bonding with Sandra for sure. Mm -hmm. Who else are you like, are, have you formed an alliance yet? Does that happen later? I think I'm pretty sure it was on the first day during like, you know, we're just trying to find things to do. So at one point we're like collecting firewood, way more firewood than we would ever need. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, I definitely, that was when I talked to Sandra. And then I also talked to Adam, talk as in like, 30 seconds of whispering like hi like, can we please work together yeah but like that goes a long way if no one else does it that makes a huge difference on that first day yeah because people will latch on to the only thing they've heard 
Um, so I talked to Sandra and Adam, and my thought process was I wasn't sure who I would want a fourth person to be. So rather than make that, at least get a three people locked in. Mm -hmm. People aren't going to go to rocks on the very first tribal council. There's probably going to be someone we can just come to a unanimous. And then if I've got that three person alliance locked in, then once we majority. get rid of that first person, then we're in the majority. So yeah. I formed a loose and we definitely confirmed that like on the walk to uh, one of the challenges, we like stayed back a little bit from the other okay. three and confirmed like this three we're good with. Cool. Um, so we had that as, you know, a day one alliance which is pretty loose in in games like this yeah yeah um okay so you had like two really quiet people i think in mm -hmm. in maddie and seth mm -hmm. medium people in you and adam <laughs> maybe sandra and then you had lauren what what were your thoughts about <laughs> lauren? lauren um you know, it's really good on that first day to have Lauren um, or yeah, the first day, because like, especially, you know, we're not going to travel council. Uh, we're just sitting there after a while. There isn't much to do for setting up camp or anything. So like we need to fill time. Yeah. And Lauren is able to fill the time because she's very talkative, which is great. And yeah. then you start getting tired, you start <laughs> getting worn out. And it's like, I, you know, two minutes of just chilling would be. Right. Lauren isn't like a sit and chill kind of person. <laughs> Lauren is a let's have some conversations type of person. Um, so, and, and Sandra, I, I would probably put like, Sandra would have seemed extremely talkative if Lauren wasn't there. I think yes. Sandra yes. is quite a talkative person as well. Yeah. Um, so many tribe conversations were probably just the two of them <laughs> and uh, the rest of us interjecting. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it made the time go by for a while. And then, you know, get a little exhausted and time yeah. now so the time starts slowly marching on yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so when it's time then for that journey to happen mm -hmm. it, are you are you like hoping you're gonna get picked are you glad and relieved that you're not picked I think I would have been okay if I was picked because I would have felt confident in Adam and Sandra yeah so it would have been nice to see what it was I probably don't risk my vote though or anything because that would fuck up potentially fuck up things can i swear yeah. oh yeah i do it all the time okay cool sweet <laughs> yeah that could potentially fuck up things if i were to like to lose my vote i would have made the same decision lauren did um because it's not worth like risking it if i think i'm in a good position mm -hmm. um even if I, I probably would have been pretty confident in my puzzle abilities but i was good to like just not get picked at all and not have to worry about people constantly wondering if i'm lying about what i did on the trip Mm -hmm. so for those three hours when she's gone and you guys are just kind of sitting around what's that was going three on? hours oh three my hours. god i remember it was hours. long yeah <laughs> oh my god now um, you know. <laughs> i don't know because lauren wasn't there to talk to all of us what were we doing <laughs> i don't know we, i'm sure we filled the time somehow we i mean that was a lot of surviving main though is sitting yeah. around wondering what people are doing. Yes. Um, like what's taking so it, long? Yeah. You know, it can it cannot be portrayed probably on television without seeming boring. Oh, how yeah. like long it feels when other people are doing stuff and you're just sitting there. Yeah, with like the other to do. The other tribes at tribal and you're just like, oh fuck, now I have another hour to sit yeah. here with these people. <laughs> yeah, it really um it, we you you completely lose your sense of time. And I didn't know that like they wouldn't give the time going out. That was such like that <laughs> that's cool that they do that. Yeah. But man, it really messes with you. We were definitely yeah. like way off whenever we would try and guess the time because it was yeah, you just got completely lost. There and there's no reason to do that other than like production being highly entertained by it. Whenever yeah. people ask, it's like, mm -hmm. oh, you don't have your watch. <laughs> <laughs> and then sometimes you can like hear glimpses of production people mm -hmm. saying, okay, we're gonna do this by ten, and you're mm -hmm. like, oh my god, it's that, it's that late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So okay, so was there any talk? Was there any strategy talk while she was gone? No, I mean, really, Sebago. I don't know if you know, I the other three talk stuff and we're just not involving me but there was not a lot of strategy talk on Sebago early on because that's really tough um if no one's willing to pull the trigger that's yes. why I want to have those quick conversations to at least secure something but it's very difficult like to really get the ball rolling on that I remember when we do go on our winning streak streak just as an example of this like at one point it was me 
Maddie, Seth, and Sandra. And Sandra, you know, we'd still won the challenge, but Sandra positive like, hey, do we know what we're doing if we're going to tribal? And I, the four of us, and we just looked at each other like, I don't know, we'll figure it out, I guess. Because no one wants to actually say anything and it'd be the wrong thing to say yep. if you can avoid saying anything at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so win, win, win. <laughs> and yeah. you get through the whole night. Any interesting mm. stories from that first night? Um, before we do that, so when we do the um the buying of things with oh, yeah. um the reward coins, um, so we had I don't know, like sixteen or something. Let's say um, we had a number where we ended up with one coin left over. Oh. And I remember before we went there, I asked my tribe, like, "Hey, if we have like one thing left over, are you guys cool if?" we just like give it to another tribe so they could buy something and they were all like yeah sure so i remember we had one coin left over after buying like five scoops of rice a pot and um something else i, I don't remember or whatever it was we had like one coin left over after doing incredibly well in terms of buying things <laughs> and moosehead was at nine and ten would get them a pot and flint that was the other bought one Flint mm-hmm. was like five points. Mm-hmm. And Moosehead, if they had nine and a flint and a pot were each five points. Mm-hmm. And I remember giving them, it was Nick and Aaron, I believe, um, who were doing the purchasing. And they were, I was like, what are you guys at? They said nine. I was like, here you go. You're at 10. Just just take it. We can't use it. Um, and that wasn't, they couldn't get like a pot, a flint and rice with that. It still wasn't enough to get them there. But that wasn't even me trying to like play game. That was just like, we're all in a tough situation. Yeah. Um, they were going to tribal council too, I believe. Yeah. Um, oh, sure. and someone had quit by the time. Yes. We we went to uh, the the shop or whatever it was called. So, so wait, um, Zach, did they have no rice the first day? They didn't. Moosehead did not have rice the first day. They had no a one pot has and a told plate. me this yet. <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> no one mentioned that at all. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit, that's fucked up, Zach. <laughs> that's so yeah, funny. I would have, if Liza asked, like, do y'all agree to just let him have a scoop for free? I would have totally been down because they felt yeah. really bad. Yeah. Um, They were so far behind in coins. They, they would have needed two more. I remember Flagstaff had a leftover coin as well and gave that to them. But oh, they were wow. still one coin short to get a single, like, quarter cup of rice. Damn. They couldn't even get that. But yeah, I gave that to them. And that wasn't even like me deliberately trying to build up anything. It was just like, this is going to suck for us all. Let's make it a little more livable if we can. Did it Did it happen to do anything good for you and Nick? I think so. I mean, Nick was very grateful, it seemed. Yeah. Um, I remember the next day during the morning, I don't know if they had gone to tribal. Probably, no, they must not have gone to tribal yet. But like we walked by on the way, I walked by them on the way to the bathroom and while they were like grabbing wood and I just asked them how they were doing. And he said again, like, you know, super thankful for that. That was super nice. I was like, cool. People think I'm nice. That's definitely a good sign in this game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So anything else from that first day or night? Uh, especially um, things that maybe weren't on camera. Have you Did seen any snore? Um... <laughs> things that weren't on camera i don't know i we i we can't have been that interesting when the cameras were on yeah because we had nothing to do i imagine if the cameras were off we were even less interesting do you have have you seen any footage of the albatross story no <laughs> so the albatross story is a riddle lauren had um and i i i, I can i couldn't describe how it makes sense but it's just you basically <laughs> ask questions about this situation yes or no questions about the situation she poses until you figure out something that happens in this like the backstory to the story um and i think that that lasted us till like halfway through day two us, <laughs> you know whenever we were silent for too long uh-huh. uh, one of us would just bring the bring up questions about that um yeah about as interesting as it sounds uh <laughs> I, not the experience i expected like you don't picture yourself you know being on the tribe that's just decimating the challenges and then what that actually means in terms of just sitting around you picture yourself when you're playing the game like this actually playing a game like this yeah and but it is kind of nice because you're not like in game mode and scrambling and worried and stressed out exactly yeah it was um 
it was pretty calm. It was a little too calm. Then I started to get worried because it was so calm because yes. it's like at a certain point, it's like, oh, well, you know, I've seen this happen in at least one or two LRGs where if it's three tribes and one of them is decimating, the other two tribes are probably going to want to link up. Yes. And try to decimate you yeah. at the swap or the merge, right? Mm-hmm. Um. Okay, so do you want to skip to the swap, or is there anything else from that second day you want to talk about? Um, I remember when I sat out to one of the challenges. It was the challenge with the balance beam where um, Dave messed up the letter puzzle where Sebago had to come from behind victory. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember it was me, Maddie, TJ, and someone. I apologize. I forget who the other person was, but um tj wanted to compare notes on the the journey yeah. to make sure that bad lined up which it did mm-hmm. but he also said something like it moose had a this must that must have been like the second tribal council or something but yeah. um he said something like um you know i have a feeling our tribes are going to be okay implying he thinks moosehead is probably going to be the tribe that loses a lot Moosehead, of course, finishes first in that challenge, <laughs> um, and and his tribe goes to tribal council. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Um, I remember that he did, but I do remember getting the idea, like, okay, maybe Flagstaff wants to try and work together. That could be good, so mm-hmm. that you know Sebago isn't the one getting crushed in a swap. Um, trying to think what else from day two. No, just like you know, challenges are super fun. It's like really fun to do well in challenges. Turns out. Yeah. Yes, turns out it's fun to win. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any challenges from the first, like, I don't know, five or six rounds that stood out in terms of them being fun or anything like that? Mm, I actually ended up enjoying the memory one, even though it was so difficult. Oh. Um, that one, I, I, I'm i surprised we actually managed to get it together, but we did. Um, The first one, I believe, was the blindfolded one, the very first yeah. reward challenge. Mm-hmm. That one was a lot of fun. That was one <laughs> I wished it was an immunity challenge because I know like directing people who are blindfolded is a very niche skill that I apparently oh, have, but I'm wow. good at communication, I guess. Um, <laughs> and that one was uh, fun, especially because like, I think we like completed the puzzle blindfolded, but it was just messy. And then like, eventually they let us take the blindfolds off and we literally just had to adjust it for five seconds oh, wow. to make it like actually line up neatly. Uh um but uh they're they're all really good i mean you know whoever's working on the challenge is like awesome job this season yeah i mean it's mostly liza so like that's so impressive yeah it's awesome great job yeah for sure um okay i know and i know liza had a lot of help this year with uh Mm -hmm. with building stuff but like liza liza loves designing those challenges has a lot of I, fun it shows it yeah. shows because she's yeah. good at it yeah um okay so we get to the swap and it's like right before the swap happens i think maybe mm-hmm. some of you see something on a table mm-hmm. <laughs> okay yeah uh it was probably sandra who sees it first or the very least she's the one who said something first on mm-hmm. our tribe but um liza is standing there next to her table and there's the bag hanging from it and that table must have been yeah the table was used a few times to put the idols on so to me, like once I looked over, I noticed it. But um Sandra wanted um we had Maddie going up to put the idol back. Yeah. Um and she wanted Maddie to be the one to grab the idol. So Maddie goes up, hands it back, pauses for a sec. You can like I anyway, I saw the table like judder as she tried <laughs> to grab it. Yeah. Like I fought it and like I heard a noise and she stood there for like two seconds and then walked away. So you so thought like, she got it. No, no, because it was still <laughs> hanging there. <Inside>, yeah. <laughs> but I was like, oh well, we we mission failed. We'll get them next time. Like I thought we just oh well, Sebago doesn't get this one. We can't win them all. But I figured other people would have seen it because it seemed so awkward to me. Like right. you know, that that like she very clearly was trying <laughs> to do something and missed. Even if you didn't see the bag hanging there, like clearly Maddie tried to grab it. At least to me. Yeah. So then it's drop your buffs, which we had been like really like okay it's gotta be this yeah it comes true um and it's me and lauren uh pull out the blue buffs and everyone else pulls out the different color oh this i shouldn't mention and i don't even know if this is true but um at one point when i was alone with sandra 
Sandra told me that Lauren threw my name out. Oh. Um, the way mm -hmm. Sandra phrased it was she was talking with Lauren. Uh, Sandra said, how are you feeling? Lauren said, oh, I'm a little worried about Zach. He's played this game before, played games like this before. Okay. And Sandra's response is, well, I've played games like this before. Yes. As she had been on Outlast. I don't even know if that like happened that way because I feel like Lauren would have recognized Sandra from Outlast or like wouldn't have said something like that anyway. Right. I don't know if it was just a miscommunication or what. Because but... Lauren's played games before. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, so like, I, I don't know what, but Sandra had told me Lauren had potentially thrown my name out there. So at the very least, I was like, Lauren's not going to be my closest ally going forward anyway. Okay. So This um, is adding up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So then I swap and it's just me and Lauren. And I'm like, okay. And the second, like, people start turning, like, just angling themselves to go talk to each other, that's when I just go right up and I grab it. And I'm also, like, because Maddie didn't get it, I actually don't know for sure if it's an idol. I'm half expecting yeah. Liza to be like, Zach, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, and, like, I could see why Maddie, like, had trouble. It was, like, a weird hook. I don't know why. Like, I, I couldn't describe why it was difficult to get it off. But it took me, like, four or five seconds to get it off. So I, like, fumble okay. for a bit. I finally get it unhooked. I turn around. And I fully expect to see, like, six people staring at me, like, mm -hmm. feeling. Um, and, and no, everyone's yeah. just saying hi to each other. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. So I pocket the idol. I, like, go to my new tribe. I'm like, hi, how you doing? Oh, my God. At one point, I'm like, oh, let me put my old buff in my bag. But everyone's like, sure, okay. I put that, uh, or I put, like, my water bottle in my bag, which is a terrible idea because the water bottle could burst open. But whatever. <laughs> I, I gave some cover story. Slide the idol into my bag. And I'm like, holy crap. Like, I, I pulled it off somehow. And, literally, like, everyone after that I talked to, it seems I have not heard someone say, oh, yeah, I saw you grab the idol. So it seems I somehow pulled it off, which is mm -hmm. insane to me that I got away with that. Absolutely insanity. Yes. Yes. So that's cool. So, the yeah, Lauren is the only one who saw you do it. Mm -hmm. And maybe some other people from your tribe actually saw, too. I just assumed my whole tribe knew I got it. I think so. Um, I think they did. I just assumed that. <clears throat> because we all knew because Sandra was being like, all right, yeah. Matt, you go grab this. So I just assumed my whole tribe knew I got it. Because yeah. at one point I make eye contact with Sandra. I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't give a thumbs up, but I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so going forward from that point, I'm like, all right, at the very least, there are five other people who know I have this idol, which is the count I'm going to keep a tally of in my head because yeah. it's going to grow and fluctuate very quickly <laughs> as the game <laughs> goes on. Um, but as of now, we swap in new traps. Just Lauren knows I have this, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm hmm yeah so you guys um you lose this one or no we win the first challenge this was the okay. um the um right spool the challenge. amelia yes the, the amelia challenge let's call it yeah. that because she was <laughs> you like you know beast mode and had to sit down because she was yeah. trying so hard she's such a badass um yeah. And Allison, too. Both of them who had the balance on those things, like, mm -hmm. holy crap, that looked difficult. Um, it was probably very, very tiring. But it was that one, which we had a steady lead on, and we finished the puzzle, I think, before they even got to start it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it's... Okay, then it's this vertical snake maze. Mm, yeah. And that's when you don't do so well. Yep, so I think after that challenge, would it have been? It must have been after that challenge. Or maybe it's on the way to the next challenge. I'm trying to remember when I get my very brief moments that mm -hmm. I have with people, because I really try and take advantage of, like, if you make a quick connection with someone in this game, like, you really got to build upon it. Yeah. So I'm trying to remember. I remember we get back, like, all of them go to, like, I don't know, grab firewood or something. I'm like, I, I watch them all go and Lauren falls. I'm like, oh good, they're going to talk about how they're voting out a Sebago or something. So I'm like, well, at least I got my idol. But during all chats, the, what, do you, what do you say? When you say all of them, there's it's three, two, two, right? Yes, yes. So and we so... got back to camp after the initial swap, and we had won the challenge, and we sat around for like a couple minutes, 
And then at some point they were like, oh, let's go. I don't know what they said. Explore, get firewood. I don't know. I'm like tending to the fire. Like the flagstaff and the moosehead all get up. Lauren like trails behind. She makes sure with me I, that I did get the idol. Then Lauren follows. And it's just me in the camp for like five minutes. Really? So okay. like my initial impression is, okay, yeah, Sebago is, I'm screwed because I have because I'm Sebago. Thank wow. God I have this idol because I could be going home. So this is before um, you lose the challenge? This is Yes, this is before we lose the okay. challenge. And then we have like an hour to talk. And that means, you know, Lauren has an hour to talk, um, <laughs> which clear, I think made some type of impression. I mean, we all were chatting, but okay. I know when we go into this next vote, they seem very eager to want to vote out Lauren. So obviously, okay. you know, something happens here where I'm able to make a good impression um, that they don't want to vote me out. So I heard that, here's what I heard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you tell me where, where this is wrong or mm -hmm. where you, maybe you forgot. Um, mm -hmm. That you all go, and I don't know when this is that day, but you're all at camp and you're talking to Lauren mm -hmm. and you say, okay, Lauren, you go talk to the two and I'm going to go talk to the three. That happens and when we lose. That is the scramble. Okay. That is okay. during strategy scramble. So, yeah, I don't think that, oh, one other thing, and this is important for when the strategy scramble happens, it must have been when we go to the next challenge, the one we lose. It was, we were by the bathrooms, and it was me and Callie and Nick, and I just say, like, how do you feel? And Callie volunteers, I feel good. I feel good about you. And I was like, I feel good about you too. So going in, I'm like, okay, Moosehead seems to like me. I know Nick super appreciated that yes. I gave him the coin. So I've got something with Moosehead that's free people there. If we lose, that's something I'm going to try and initially build on. And then we go into the challenge where, for the first time, Sebago actually loses something. Mm -hmm. First and only time. <laughs> Unless you count a reward challenge. Doesn't count. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So then is when mm -hmm. you go and, according mm -hmm. to Lauren, stab her in the back viciously. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love that you have her perspective first because it's... Yeah. Uh, it's great. Um, yeah, so yeah, we lose and for the initial scramble, we break off into our initial groups. It's me and Lauren, Flagstaff over there, Moosehead over here, mm -hmm. and we're talking. And I couldn't, I, if you ask me, I could not remember what Lauren's initial said as like her idea for what we should do. I knew what I wanted to do and how yeah. to get there, so I was like, I gotta get to Moosehead so I can get the four. So I say the Lauren... I think we got to try and hope the other tribes go against each other and Sebago can be in the middle. Why don't you go talk to Flagstaff? I'll go talk to Moosehead. And Moosehead, so like, had okay. three? Moosehead had Moosehead three? Moosehead had three. It was Callie, okay. Topher, and Oh, Topher. Nick. Okay, okay. <laughs> so Moosehead had three. I was like, I just got to get over there and hopefully I can make something happen. Um, so I, I was like, you go talk with Flagstaff. I'm going to toe talk with Moosehead. I run to them. I'm like, I feel good with y'all. And they're like, yeah, yeah, we, we feel good with you. And I was like, you know, this is for, I will, you know, vote with y'all if that's what you want to do. Um, so they, I, what I wanted to do is to position myself is rather than try and like get control by like pushing a plan, mm -hmm. I wanted to like offer myself up as a vote and make it seem like they, I wanted them to think they were pulling me in yes. rather than me inserting myself into a situation. Yes. So I tell them, like, Sebago, we did not talk any game. I have no, like, I, I haven't talked strategy with anyone. Um, so whatever you guys want to do, if you want to do something, I'm good to ride, ride with you all. Um, you know, Lauren, you know, I could go either way. I could get her to vote, vote. I would vote her out. And I say, like, I could vote her out. And I think Nick's eyes, like, light up. Okay. And, like, Nick and or Callie are like, you would vote Lauren out? <laughs> and I see that excitement. I'm like, yeah, I would vote Lauren out. Absolutely. Because uh. <laughs> in my head, I'm like, if I can get through this with an idol yeah, and like just keeping it, like I'm going to be so well positioned. I didn't want to have to play the idol because then if we go again, they're just going to want to vote me out immediately. Yep. Should have remembered that. Oops. Um, <laughs> but um, so, yeah, I'm like, y'all want to vote out Lauren? I'm totally down. And then in. I, I think I might have been slightly worried about her lying about the journey, even though, like, mm. logically, I knew she didn't. Mm -hmm. Like, it wouldn't have made sense. It wouldn't have, like, added up. But I was like, I don't want Lauren to play anything 
and no, I know what it was. I didn't want any votes on me because I didn't want to see, be seen as the next one to go. Mm-hmm. So I tell Moosehead, like, please talk to Flagstaff. Make sure they aren't splitting votes onto me. And what I told them was, in case Lauren has an idol, if they split votes onto me, I'll go. So please try and make it so that they're not there voting for Lauren as well. And they seem good with that. And as far as I know, they do. So, then, okay. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, so that's why right. you never tell Lauren. Yeah, because at that point, I just I'm I'm I, I am, I mean, I am throwing her under the bus. I don't want to. I, I don't want to yeah. see him at all. Like I think I didn't throw Lauren under the bus like in a massive way and backstab her or anything. Uh, at that point, I'm like, cool. Moosehead wants to work with me. They want to vote out Lauren. That's my goal now. If they want to do that, I'm doing that. That's what I'm going to try and push. And you want the idol for yourself. Was there wanna, yeah. ever a conversation mm-hmm. that happened, that some people say happened, where mm-hmm. you guys, the original Sebago, when looking at that idol and trying to figure out how you were all going to get it, was there a conversation like, you're going to use this to protect a minority mm-hmm. in a swap? Yeah, uh, we probably said that during, um, that was probably something okay. we did say during, um, uh, while we were sitting around as we continue yes. to win and realize we'd be a huge threat, is like, mm-hmm. we're going to have to stick together, stay Sebago mm-hmm. strong, if we all get to the end. And like I said it, I probably meant yes. it in the moment, but I play the game very in the moment. Yes. So okay. I didn't care as much that I said it previously. I also fully admit, I definitely told Lauren at one point, like, oh yeah, if, if I think it's you, I'll play you play the idol okay on. there I we go definitely okay. told her that. <laughs> and i definitely didn't mean it yes but, but i'll fully own okay. up that i said it. <laughs> okay good 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 okay <laughs> um so yeah then i locked into a loose head so then i go to talk with flagstaff and i grab allison oh this didn't come up so obviously allison and sandra had played together in outlast yes and you know that going in yes meeting her okay. uh sandra told me allison uh is someone i played with and i could be good with uh and i was like cool so i remembered that coming into this as well so then my next person was to just zero in on allison so i could be like hey i'm good with sandra that means you're good with me please please let that be true um so i grab her and i guess i think it was during the memory challenge there was a point where it was just sandra and allison up there okay and they whisper to each other, who's someone you're good with? I'm good with Zach. I'm good with TJ. Okay. Um, so good. Allison knew coming into this. Yeah, I know. Sandra and TJ. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. um, but I knew, but Allison, I think, must have known, like, you know, to try and work with me on some level. Um, so I grab Allison. I'm like, I know you play with Sandra as, like, proof that I'm actually good with Sandra. She's like, yep, totally. We connect very quickly on that. Um, and I'm like, I'm like, if, you know, if we can get to emerge, I'm going to still be good with Sandra. She says TJ is someone she's good with. I'm like, cool. I'm good to, you know, be with him too. We just got to get to emerge. They're all voting Lauren. Looks like the vote's going to be Lauren. I'm good voting Lauren. If you want to go with that, she confirmed she's good with that. And then, so that's person number five who is not voting for me. Gotcha. Then I grab. I get Dave, but I get Dave with Lauren, and Dave okay. doesn't tell the truth. Uh-huh. Um, Dave's Dave very convincingly lies, and I should have picked up he was like hiding that he was like a good player as he is. I think because <laughs> um, he very convincingly lies, like, "Oh yeah, Moosehead said both your names," and my head went in my head. I'm like, "Oh fuck, I'm getting yeah. played." <laughs> um, but then I get Dave alone. I'm like, "What did they actually say?" He's like, "Oh yeah, they just said Lauren." I was like, "Cool, okay. I'll vote out Lauren," and he was like, "Oh." Well, okay then. Okay. Um, and now I know that was especially his reaction because him and Lauren knew each other. So here's a question. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you take a 4-3 majority and try to get Allison and Dave and Lauren to vote one of the moose heads off? Um, because I didn't want it to be a situation where I was trying... Um, I be- I. It could be argued and like the footage will show the real truth, like how much I actually am steering this vote. Mm -hmm. I didn't want it to appear if I was steering this vote. So because Lauren first really, I mean, yes, it comes out of my mouth, but Moosehead is the one that really wants to do it when I say it. Because I, I, again, if Moosehead said, yeah, grab Lauren and like we'll vote out 
Flagstaff, then you would have. Yeah. Uh, the same level of enthusiasm that I threw Lauren under the bus, I would have tried to get probably Dave voted out. Yeah. But because the idea comes from someone else, I'm now going to go enthusiastic for someone else's idea. So even if I end up driving the direction of what happens in a convincing way, it doesn't actually look like I do so. So then no one's going, oh man, Zach just took control of everything. Mm -hmm. They're going, oh, we just pulled in Zach, mm -hmm. which I think is what I was able to achieve. Right. Okay. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Not for Lauren, but you're not Lauren. Not for Lauren. No. I And I uh, I forgot it was her birthday. I felt oh, genuinely shit. like super shitty because I, I did like, I, I threw her under the bus. I like start trolling her at one point when she starts saying Survivor is a fluid game. And I'm, in my head, I'm like, oh, yeah. I say back to her like, yeah, Survivor is a fluid game because no. I know I'm totally betraying her at that point. I have like a zinger like in my voting confessional oh, and no. then like I think Allison says happy birthday if she gets voted out. I'm like yeah. <laughs> I'm such a dick. Oh my I god. so bad. But, Good I'm glad. <laughs> yeah I, I definitely do come alive though like I, I, I do like even though you know I mean I could have gone whatever way as long as it wasn't me voted out yeah. but like I definitely do like play to make sure it's all going on more and so that I'm not seen as like the backup option so that I'm seen as tight as possible with the Flagstaff people and as tight as possible with the Moosehead people. Mm -hmm. I do think I come alive in, in a lot of ways this episode. Um, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, having fun is why, is why you're doing it, right? Yeah. It's really fun to be bad when you're a good person in real life. It really is. It yeah. Really is. You know? <laughs> yeah. I might have okay. toned it down if I remembered it was her birthday, but yeah. <laughs> And, you know, maybe good people would remember birthdays, but, you know, I'm just, maybe I'm not that good. Maybe oh, no. this was just my natural self coming in. Who knows? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sure no. Lauren feels that way. But maybe okay. so. Maybe so. <laughs> uh, okay. So, okay. So this is at night. And then you, mm -hmm. when do you find out then that, oh, um, there's going to be another immunity challenge now? Yeah. Like right when we get back, I like, I'm like, this is great. I totally like I kept my idol amazing position I'm like trying to start the fire and they're like stop doing that stop starting the fire <laughs> and then they read out the thing I'm like oh my god like it's like because it, it I don't know what time it was mm -hmm. but it definitely felt late I'm pretty it sure it was very, very late it was almost um, midnight at that point yeah it it felt it so <laughs> it's so like exhausting I hear like after doing all that to like get yes. myself in what I think is a good position like I'm going to have to keep potentially playing. Um, so it's definitely like a lot of intensity, especially when it yeah. be clear, became clear, like um, Moosehead really hadn't done much in terms of fire making. And Dave, I believe, was trying to downplay his fire making skills. Or yeah. that's, that's how he's put it after the fact. Uh -huh. um, so he didn't want to step up for that. So it's like, oh, <laughs> now I'm going to do this hero challenge. That's awesome. Super fun. Um <laughs> And I, in my head, I know I'm up against Seth because I know Seth is right. going to do it. And right. I just, I saw Seth all day, just like start a fire, like a roaring fire in like one minute. <laughs> um, so I'm like, well, I'm going to try. We'll see what happens. But I'm, I'm fully expecting to lose that because I expect Seth to just absolutely kill it. And, and then, then you get your hero moment instead. <laughs> this is insane. And I still like, I definitely say at one point in a confessional later, like, I thought they might have thrown that challenge, not in like a <laughs> I'm so good, people would throw a challenge for me kind of way, but in like a I can't believe I would beat like I would yes. beat Seth and Seth wouldn't. I, I just couldn't conceive that he would be able to not start the fire or that right. I could be do better, you know, with Allison. Allison was also great in helping start the fire. Um, but yeah, that was that was so insane to me. Um, a lot of adrenaline in that challenge. <laughs> yeah yeah so you're you're then safe for the night and you get to go to bed mm -hmm. at, at you know before 1 a.m maybe and yeah. madison's go down so okay so the next morning mm -hmm. what are you thinking when you see the tribe and you see that madison's been voted out um i'm trying to remember because i know there's a little bit of game that happens at night um okay i so go i'm going first? Hmm? whatever you want to talk about first. yeah okay yeah totally um so I remember at night, um, at one point, 
I think like me, Allison, and Topher like go to the bathroom before going to bed, and like Topher is away from me and Allison for a moment. And I, in my head, I'm thinking if we connect, if we get to the merge, I'm not considering a situation where Sebago isn't there, much less Sandra isn't there. Yeah. Which I should have maybe waited on this, but it actually worked out. We'll get into that. But I tell Allison at night before we go to bed that I have an idol. Because in my head, I'm like, if we get to the merge, she's going to hear it from Sandra if I don't tell her. Mm-hmm. Or some stray Sebago is going to wow. say something. Um, <laughs> so I tell Allison at night that I have an idol so that she knows going into the next day. Cool. And I believe before we get to the first one, I don't tell Dave I have an idol. But I confer with Dave, who I think had already talked to Allison at some point, like, hey, I would like us to be a trio once we get to the merge. So that all happens before the actual merge or mergatory. Then we get there and I see Maddie voted out. I don't, I couldn't tell you what I thought happened. I probably assumed it was an idol or something like that Mm -hmm. or Shaun the Dark, but I didn't super consider like if they did, um, I wasn't thinking too much about what their dynamics could be because like at that point it becomes like endless speculation. It could be mm-hmm. any number of things. Um, at that point, I guess I think I see that and like because I'm well set up on my end, I'm less worried about that. I didn't have much of a connection with Maddie. I'd never had a strategic yeah. talk with her. Right. So it wasn't enough to like super change how I was thinking about the merge. It was more like a, well, something happened and I'll have to hear about that. I would have never guessed the insanity that was that vote, a two one one or whatever split it was <laughs> yes. at one AM or two AM or yeah. whenever it happened. Yeah. I never would have landed on that after endless speculation. Um so I, I thought it was something. I didn't think much of it. Clearly much was going on at that point. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So then it's um oh, it's not the fake merge yet. And then Sandra gets voted out. Yeah. So it's like we win another challenge. You know, okay. Spago keeps winning. So how do you feel then after when you go back to your mats mm-hmm. and you see that Sandra's been like, this is your number one ally mm-hmm. pretty much. Yeah. That was very uh, surprising because I couldn't see a situation. Because like, I mean, from the sound of it, it sounds like Sandra went a little crazy on that other end. But I didn't get that vibe that, you know, there would be that much crazy playing going on. Um, I mean, I thought our vote where I throw Lauren under the bus would be the most exciting thing. And I think it was pretty boring in comparison right. from the sounds of it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that was very surprising. And like, it wasn't like, oh God, though. It, it wasn't like, oh God, my game screwed or I'm in a way worse position. It's like, okay, there goes one of my roads to the end at that point i felt very well positioned because the mooseheads all like me so i could go with them Mm -hmm. i had the alliance i had actually made and said something with like mooseheads we were going off vibes but with allison and dave i had actually said like i would like to work with you as an alliance once we hit the merge and go like towards end game with you guys so i had two options just on my swap tribe i still had adam Mm -hmm. even if sandra wasn't there Um, And going into it, I thought I would have Sandra. So like prior to seeing Sandra gone, I had a lot of paths to the end and different people I could work with. Mm -hmm. When Sandra goes, it cuts off options. Mm -hmm. But because I had put in the work already, it doesn't leave me like having to scramble. It's like, okay, my paths are now narrowing. It becomes more clear like what I think I want to do going forward. So heading into the merge then, you have Mm -hmm. trust with... Dave mm-hmm. and Allison, because you've told them, well, you've told Allison about your idol. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you feel um, a decent connection still with Adam from your old Sebago tribe? Like good vibes connection, but okay. our strategic talks had been so quick. Gotcha. Um, you know, votes are what solidifies trust. And we never had a vote. Um, we never had an in-depth strategic conversation either. Okay. So I felt good with Adam. I felt he was like an option of a person I could work with. But it wasn't, um, you know, he was in. He was one of the potential options at that point. I don't. That sounds dehumanizing. I hope it. I don't want no, to no, sound no. like that. But like, it, it no. wasn't. Um, I wasn't like, oh man, I'm, you know, I'm playing all these people, and then I'm gonna jump to Adam as soon as I can, or something like that. Right. Especially with Sandra, 
because I felt like Sandra was more it was going to be me Sandra and Adam and so when mm -hmm. Sandra gone it's like well Adam's still there okay so okay there's a lot more strategy to talk about but let's talk about this immunity yeah. challenge. Mm -hmm. you win yeah. it right yeah I win it I um I You're own the up table this. the special yeah. table did you I know beforehand um no I actually okay. when I picked it um I just wanted to not be in the sun and I remember also the way the wind was blowing mm. I felt it would affect the two tables on the end less because it was kind of blowing like if if the if it was set up like this the wind was kind of blowing this way mm -hmm. so I thought the wind would maybe affect the tables a little less if it's hitting them from the side mm -hmm. which doesn't make a lot of sense now that I say it but I had I, I had had like one bowl of pasta in the past two days so <laughs> oh, yeah, you um, got that spaghetti spaghetti yeah spaghetti dinner was really amazing yeah it was really really amazing so uh okay so um so yeah I just yeah. went to that because like I thought the ones on the table would be better and uh -huh. then like like you know a few more people pick their spots and i'm looking i'm like holy crap this is, it was half the distance You're it was me. it was absurd like to the point i i am owning up to it like just like slightly embarrassed how much of yeah. an advantage i had i had to walk half the distance wow to do this thing and i so know that... it's half the distance um yeah. oh my god because they fix it for the next the other group. people and yeah. they pull out the big long wooden pole that they use to measure it holy shit and and it's all and like they put it down and it's just like almost touching where where the stand is oh my god and so i had a very big assist um production from, fuck up uh, yes <laughs> helps you okay uh yes very big but you know what Drawing for spots is a legit yeah. part of surviving Maine. I think someone talked about this last season. You know, the props are all homemade. Everything's just being yeah. done by, you know, people who love this. So, you know, that that's a part of it. And um, I really benefit in that moment uh, mm -hmm. from that. I have very sore, sore feelings about that because of it was season two when that mm -hmm. happened that it really affected a challenge and it was my oh, wife yeah. who went home because of because oh. of the unfair challenge. oh that's so brutal so I, I don't feel good about it but anyway the <laughs> I, I mean I legit still feel kind of bad like I get a very <laughs> unearned win here like it's a production fuck up maybe you still would have maybe not been in first place but maybe yeah. you would have who knows yeah. My yeah. stand also fell over at one point, which probably won't make the air. But I don't know yeah. about that. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm. I'm. It's there's definitely video, but um, yeah, I have five. I have five blocks on it, and I'm holding the rope, trying to inch my way back, and then the thing just falls forward. The whole Holy entire shit. structure, and they had to pause. Everyone for everyone else had to pause where they were holding their thing because the whole while, thing. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, every, while they get a bunch of production to stand on the ends of those. Yeah, maybe that won't make the edit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no. No. A, it was a, uh, it, it was something. But I, I, when it fell over, I was like, "Oh, karma!" Yes, <laughs> this, I deserve this. <laughs> this is my comeuppance. They're not gonna let me redo it. They're gonna make me restart <laughs> from zero. This yeah. is what I get. There you go. That's so funny. Okay, yeah. okay. So, but you win, and then um, you're you're the first one to win. You get that safety, and then how? surprised are you when you see the exile people come out mm, very surprised and like i probably could have thought about it and been like oh this jury the jury numbers don't make sense or something yeah with like how many people would have been there without one wasn't even on my mind and i'm like super happy when they come out my one of my like one of my survivor hot takes is like especially with lrgs they should always be a battle back for pre-merge yeah. i think it should be for the show just saying but like really? pre-merge is so random it like is. you can get tribes group try you know you could just get a bunch of challenges that your tribe sucks at your initial groups could not be favorable to you give someone an extra chance especially mm -hmm. in lrgs where people are paying especially, for this. yeah i couldn't agree more yeah mm -hmm. yeah and, so and, i was very and happy and especially if it's cut off at the merge and then those people yeah. go home yeah, exactly there's, there's no exactly. edge where they get to be mm -hmm. on the jury yep exactly That's how let someone it. come back <laughs> yeah. let someone correct their bad luck get mm -hmm. a bit more of a chance to play mm -hmm. i love it too okay and i still feel that way yeah. so i however no bitter feeling even though someone came twist. back that you didn't want to come back yeah i watched like after the like 
you know, genuine, like, this is awesome, because I think it should happen after that elation dies. It's like, oh, a bunch of people I don't know, <laughs> my number one ally who just got voted off, yeah. and Lauren, the, yeah. the nightmare scenario. The nightmare. Um, and oh, man. I remember, because, like, I had been on the purple one, the egregiously close one, and I do, like, mouth to Sandra, like, yeah. purple get on to purple yeah and that's um, and that's when they move it they're like wait yeah. a second <laughs> yeah which is unfortunate damn yeah, it she, oh, sandra, it sandra oh. mentioned that sandra mentioned oh, that i could have been in such a good position i know if sandra <laughs> comes back sandra still has her idol i believe i don't know if yeah. the idol is taken away i think it stays it, it yeah was, it was god oh that would have been great it's literally you know heaven and hell <laughs> just one production correction changes everything <laughs> yeah. you know that's why you can't be bummed or like upset about these games because like you yeah. know if sandra's just a little quicker or production pays a little less attention yeah during the battle back portion all of a sudden my number one ally's back with an idol in her pocket but instead mm -hmm. the person i just like you know horribly <laughs> stabbed in the back comes back with knowledge of my idol knowledge of your idol yeah. and vengeance on her mind yeah. so yeah. <laughs> so you go to this feast then mm -hmm. um what happens there there's not much strategy. Oh, yeah, this is the other thing. So I think going into it, um, who knows how true this was, but the six people said, like, who do we want to target if we can target someone? Okay. And I think we said Seth, which could have made it a very easy vote, um, yeah. potentially. I, I don't know if any of them would have changed their minds or if Lauren changes people's minds about Seth. But, like, if Seth doesn't win that challenge, we're in a potentially, like, very easy vote for this mergatory, and things go way different. But yeah, um, but the sick. group of people who win was like, it, it was a perfect storm of people to like make such a clusterfuck of a mergatory. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, trying to think it's... what else. During the feast, at some point they go for water and I'm just with Lauren. I totally own up. Like, yeah, uh, they, I think I phrased it as they said your name and I just went along with it so I could keep my idol. I won't bullshit you. Kind of bullshitting her. Um, <laughs> only kind of. I could have bullshit her way more. I could have been like, oh, I got totally blindsided. I'm sorry. No, but um, I mean, at that point, I'm like, Lauren can do what she will. Mm -hmm. This is just a part. This is, you know, it's essentially like I get my own personal twist at this point with Lauren back in the game. Um, and I just know I'm going to have to deal with it. But I have safety for this round. So all I can do is try and make this boat as easy as possible, which, you know, mission failed. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Yeah, this is really, this is where yeah. maybe Zach goes a little up in flames here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I couldn't, I, I would love to like minute by minute this. Um, And there's so much stuff that I'm sure just is going to be like not even filmed. There should have been like, a news crew trying to film this mergatory there should have just been like several drones getting action <laughs> shots it was insanity but um so at some point i talk with a good chunk of new sebago which is the six people that's kept myself allison dave callie um Topher, and Nick. i talk with a good chunk of those people at some point like at least four of us or something get together I think we say Amelia. And Amelia is going to be the vote like, okay, this makes sense. If the six stay together, it should be Amelia. Moosehead has completely owned up to us. Oh, yeah, we tried We tried to vote out Amelia and she played an idol, which I know there's more going yeah. on there with Callie tipping her off. But if they, as far as they've told you us, they yeah. just did this... The cover story makes them look very stupid. I know they're not actually very stupid, but the cover story of, oh yeah, we knew she'd play her idol and vote for Aaron, so we just voted for her anyway. That makes them that makes them look like, oh, so you just voted for someone you knew was still gonna be in the game? That's horrible. Um so I, I remember thinking that was funny, but I'm like, okay, you all voted for Amelia. You should be good to vote with Amelia. Allison and Dave, you you haven't talked with Amelia, you should be good. We should be able to still get through this vote. And so I started like making my rounds um, to people who would make sense to say Amelia, I say it to people who doesn't, I couldn't even tell you what I said. Um, 
And then it's looking like it might be Amelia. I'm trying to remember if there are any other interesting hiccups before it starts to switch mm-hmm. from my perspective away from Amelia. Um, hmm. I don't think so. Oh, at one point, and I don't even think it's on camera. I wanna. I, I wish I could ask TJ about this. But TJ, I think, had a group of like four dudes that he like wanted to work with. Yeah. It was like me, Nick, TJ. Do you know who the fourth one was? Hang on, let me think here. You, Nick, TJ, and uh, was it Adam? Adam? Adam would make sense. I think it was Adam. So <laughs> he, at one point, the four of us are together, and TJ goes, "All right, how are we going to get this group to the final seven? And we all, we went what <laughs> like it was like in, it was like you jumped he jumped like six steps of yeah. like i like this we can work together hey let's try. he just jumped to that that was a wild moment that in a sea of chaos didn't even stand out i don't <laughs> even know if it's on camera and i wish it i hope it is because so it was too. funny <laughs> but at one point i think i talked with dave dave says allison does not want to vote for Amelia because she doesn't want to vote out another woman Mm -hmm. um and I'm like okay sure like I'm not gonna like fight against that Mm -hmm. um even if it's worse for my game like I totally get it that's reasoning I tend to support when I watch these games um so I'm like cool which puts it on to Topher um so then I'm like okay this is slightly worse for my game but I'm sort of just planting my flag on a certain side if this comes together I'll survive with that. I still got an idol in my pocket. Um, So I'm like, okay, I can vote for Topher. Then I couldn't tell you who I'm telling the truth to and who I'm lying to in terms Mm -hmm. of when I'm throwing names out at that point. Because like, I'm good to vote with Topher, but I think at certain points it looks like it's not going to be Topher. So I'm like, okay, then let's try and do Alice, uh, do Amelia. Um, So like, I'm going back and forth. In the back of my mind, the fact that Lauren is in the game and knows about my idol, as well as Adam, as well as Seth, it's like, this is just going to be a thing. Like, people are going to find out I have an idol. There's people I haven't told. I do make a point. One of the first things I did must have been telling Dave I had the idol because I was like, this is a person I've actually said, like, concretely, hey, I want to work with you. I want to be in the Alliance. With Sandra gone, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go all in on Flagstaff. So I'm like, cool. I tell Dave that I have the idol and that I would be willing to play it on him. So the people I've willfully told are Allison and Dave. The people who know from Sebago are Lauren, Adam, and Seth, and they can do whatever they want with the information. I did tell Adam too early. I made sure to tell him like, hey, dude, like I still got my idol, just so you know. I tried to extend that as an olive branch to see if we could potentially work together because we had that previous relationship. And I didn't want him blindsided by that knowledge. But in the back of my mind, the fact that I've got an idol and who knows about it could be completely out of my hands is like weighing on my mind during this whole thing. Okay. And then oh, I'm trying to think of like when like when it seems like a plan actually gets solidified because I'm still like in between if it's going to be Topher or Amelia. And what it must have been is Adam comes up to me like, probably five minutes left before we go and adam's like hey how would you feel about dave and i'm like invisible pain like i just told him 10 minutes ago i had an idol and i'm like oh yeah i could vote i could vote for dave sure that's the first you're hearing about it is that yeah like five minutes before we leave wow the first i hear that dave's name is even out there okay (laughs) um and so here's what i see yeah. Adam tells me that. It is the from my perspective, the first time the name has been thrown out. We have a little back and forth. I'm like, you know what? Because I want to be on, I want to know the information. I'm like, you know what? If you can get the six, I'll be the sixth person to vote out Dave. That's what I tell him. He's like, cool. He takes like two steps away. All of a sudden, like Moosehead walks in. It's Topher, Callie, Nick, Adam, myself, and there must have been someone else. Adam turns and goes, hey, you guys want to vote out Dave? And Moosehead all goes, yeah, we'll vote out Dave. Mm -hmm. So that's what I see. I'm like, excuse me? You can just do that? You can just say, (laughs) Adam, you have this power to just say to four people, only one of whom you've worked with, you can just say a name and they'll do it? 
what are your magic powers, Adam? Of course, it makes a lot more sense. He probably could have done that. Because he knows Maybe. two of them. Yeah. Um, but they had also been talking about it for a long time. Too. Yeah. Okay. But so I just see Adam magically miss mm -hmm. all of Moosehead and get them to vote for Dave. That's what I see. Wow. Okay. So I'm like, um, okay, sure. So then, like, we're going. We're going. And the last thing is heard is that I'm still like, I, I get like Ofer or Callie alone, like, as we're grabbing the bags, I'm like, Vote Amelia. No, don't listen to him. They're like, eh. Topher says to me before we get to like the little holding area in the shade where we sit for a little bit before tribal council. Topher says to me, yeah, dude, all of Moosehead is voting Dave. Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm like, wait a minute. All of Moosehead is voting Dave. Even though y'all were pitching Amelia, at one point it was Topher versus Amelia. Now all of Moosehead has come together. This is really weird. Am I being played by Moosehead? I don't think I can trust Moosehead. Why is Adam able to get in there so quickly? Why is Adam amassing all of this power all of a sudden? Holy shit. I'm just a passenger now at this game. I don't like what's <laughs> going on at all. So I'm like sitting in the little holding area, like thinking all these thoughts. And if there was a do not talk at all or you're breaking the rules, oops, sorry, I talked a bit. But it was like Topher, it was Topher here, Nick was there, and Lauren was on my right. And I said, Nick, like, who are you voting? And he says, Dave. Or I think he spells it on the grass. It was very dramatic. Sorry yes. if we don't have footage. Yes. It's, it's really cool. Sorry if it's not there. I heard this. Wait, who are you talking <laughs> um, to at this point? I'm talking to Nick. Yes. Okay, yes. He spells he out. In, in, he does it in a sign language. Does he do sign language? Yes, and he's like, it was he's like, I can't believe little... people don't know sign language. <laughs> it it I like forget that people don't know. second yeah. exchange. I'm like, yeah. what? Because I'm, I'm like slightly deaf in this year. So whispering oh, was a real pain in the ass oh, when people man. tried to whisper. Oh, um, so he's like, and I'm like, huh? And so he spells out DA. Okay, Nick's voting that. All of Moosehead is voting that. Oh my God. Then I turn to like more and I'm like, who are you voting? She says, and I'm like, I'm deaf one. So then I spell out D A on the ground. She's like, "Yeah, are you good with that?" I'm like, "Yeah, I guess I'm good with that. I don't understand." So really, <laughs> as I'm going into this vote, I'm like, "Okay, so Adam has all the power in this game. Also, all of Moosehead is playing us. Apparently, all yeah. four of them are actually working together." Yeah. I think at one point I'm like, "Maybe they didn't. Maybe maybe Amelia still has an idol." Maybe they were just lying about that because if they're <laughs> able to work together that quickly clearly like something's going on which i guess in a way something was going on because callie was i know at least callie was close with amelia then she was letting on but mm -hmm. i'm like i don't like the direction the game is going i have lost any semblance of good footing people are strangely getting like coming together in ways that don't make sense with the information i know i feel like i have to change the direction this game is now going so I must have fought the vote. I misspeak in my voting confessional. I say, I just think Dave and Allison are voting together. I thought Dave, Allison, and TJ were all voting Topher. I thought Seth was just a wild card. Oh. And everyone else I thought was voting for Dave. And I was like, yes. all right, I can let power zap away. Lauren can go and tell everyone about my idol. My adult can just get flushed at some point if I vote with them. Um, or I can like try and change the direction things are going. So I decide like a few minutes before we stand up, like, all right, I'm just going to play my idol on Dave. This is like, there's too much shit going on. I wow. don't know what's going on. I need to like change the direction of things. So this was like, there wasn't that much logical thought in this move. It was like it was a lot of paranoia and yeah, I think paranoia was definitely okay. a, a I will defend it and say <laughs> the paranoia was Adam could magically get power, yeah. which the reality was Adam knew two people who were on Moosehead. Mm -hmm. The paranoia was Amelia was actually still tight with the Moosehead. Yeah. The reality was, well, Amelia and Callie had a connection and Callie gave Amelia a heads up to play her idol. So yeah. Yeah, I'll own up. It was definitely a like, I am losing massive control of this game. Mm -hmm. I would like to take some of it back. There were some like decent inferences in in the, the you know, 
shocked thinking of what I had seen happen the last 10 minutes before the vote. But um, yeah. it was also just like, it's like I'm sitting here, like I can lose control of this game. I don't know what happens the next time I'm, I'm going to be uh, eligible or I can like try and change the direction um, and hopefully shake things up. Also, like we are there to play a game. And like, if I can successfully play an idol, that's kind of like one off the survivor bucket list. You know, I knew that if I played it for Dave, it would be successful. And like, that's fun. Mm -hmm. That's a part of it, which I'll own up with. But I did genuinely think like, I need to like try and do something at the last moment. And hopefully I could get things going in a different direction. Because I didn't feel good about my footing at all. Sure. Okay. So that this is fair that you are now like, well, I am not mm-hmm. in power. Mm-hmm. Who did you think you were going to have, though, after fucking over all those people that, that had told you to vote Dave? Mm-hmm. Um, so um, I thought I could have Flagstaff and then... Um, what is that? Who is that? Um, Flagstaff is TJ, Dave, Allison, yes, myself. Okay. And yeah. then um, I, don't know, I don't think I probably... I probably didn't think too much about like okay. what I'd have to do. It was a matter of like, just doing it when I got there um but I honestly it was also like I really felt like if I don't play it here and like try and change the direction of the game Mm -hmm. um they'll all vote for me next round they'll flush my idol and then I'm gone the next round after that it was kind of like a kamikaze move hoping that it would shake things up in some way yeah yeah okay I mean and yeah hearing your uh side of like the whole adam thing makes this make a lot more sense it was wild yeah but yeah yeah but like you know people like nick who really wanted to work with you were like what uh, this the was fuck? the other thing yeah. yes <laughs> so because lauren knew about my idol i felt i would just lose all trust with moosehead because i hadn't told them about the idol so i felt lauren was there just blowing up my game and having the idol in secret that's I true. didn't think I would be able to reestablish trust anyway with That's people true. like that. So yeah. I thought if I'm going to lose them anyway, um, it's better to just get the idol away. Like just, you know, the idol is no longer like a a, a, a question mark that people have about me. Um, and also like, I, I truly didn't think like with Lauren there telling people about the idol, like, I felt that would just lose the trust anyway, the equivalent of like me fucking them over by playing the idol here. I, I, I think that Which, maybe is little paranoid mm-hmm. more like, mm-hmm. because just think, just think about it from like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it for if I was in the game and someone has a vendetta against someone else and they're mm-hmm. like, he has an idol mm-hmm. and I'm working with this person. Like I'm working with you for the, mm-hmm. from the swap. He mm-hmm. has an idol. I would be like, oh, okay. Maybe he mm-hmm. does. Maybe he doesn't. And maybe I would come ask you about it. And then mm-hmm. no trust would be like, who the fuck's going to tell someone about their idol? It makes mm-hmm. no sense. I would not expect mm-hmm. you to tell me about your idol. But then if I went to you and said, hey, is this true? Do you have mm-hmm. an idol? Because I heard this. And mm-hmm. then if you lie, then the trust is gone. Mm-hmm. Right? But if yeah. you're hearing me say like, Lauren told me you have an idol. Is that true? You would mm-hmm. probably just be honest, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, I just didn't know. Um, yeah, it, it was I, it was paranoia taking over because um, yes. at that point, I think like if I do go with Moosehead, like even if I get myself like even if they don't hate me, <laughs> I like even if they're like Zach's still cool, we don't care about the idol, whatever. For me to see like Adam so quickly get them, I'm yeah. like, there's a connection here that I'm not a part of. Mm-hmm. I can go with it, but I'll just be a passenger and I'm out at eighth or seventh, mm-hmm. even without them trying to flush the idol. I think that was the other worry. If yeah. not at the worry at the time, it's a conclusion I've thought of since then, which I don't know if it's true, but I did feel like there was clearly a connection here that I was not a part of. And I didn't, yeah. I wasn't confident in my ability. Maybe if I had an, an hour or two to think about it, I could have thought of ways to like get myself in there and try and right. split up the new Moosehead Adam group that had somehow magically formed. Um, but that but... so that's so unfortunate 
for mm-hmm. you specifically that you weren't a part of all those conversations because nobody was going to vote Amelia. It was never mm-hmm. real. A- and mm-hmm. they were all saying, Dave, um, it was Adam and Lauren, actually, like Amelia, Amelia was maybe like being thrown out as an easy vote. And then mm-hmm. Adam and Lauren are like, hey, why don't we get out Dave? Lauren's on this revenge it- kick. But it's mm-hmm. it's going on for a long time, and it, then it's they very all, different. Yeah, it's yeah, very different. I think if I'm a end. part of it, right? Yeah, yeah. Because someone else had said like, and then Adam mentions that we're all together, and Zach happens to be standing there, and he says it again, and that, that's what fucked us over. Was when Adam said <laughs> it in front of Zach, but he already told you before that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you I didn't know. know I mean, I didn't know for people. sure. I think like, I didn't know where Seth was. I was pretty sure mm-hmm. TJ wasn't voting Dave. I think Lauren confirming with me was the nail in the coffin. Like, okay, that's six. We don't have the numbers. Um, but yeah, um, trying to remember. Um, but yeah, I, I just felt it's definitely a way different game if I'm just a part of those conversations from the beginning. Yes. Because then I don't, I don't witness this magical yes. connection that Adam forms in two right. minutes. Right. Um, which does, I mean, yeah, friend. definitely sets off paranoia. I'm not going to say it was necessarily the right move, but it made sense in the moment. <laughs> I agree with both of those statements. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, so Tover is the first juror then, mm-hmm. um, and you go into this next mm-hmm. immunity challenge, and your ally wins, Allison. Mm-hmm. Which is good. And at this point, you're like Dave, Allison, maybe mm-hmm. TJ too. Yeah, I feel good with TJ. Oh, so when we're how did, sitting how did before that happen? the challenge, yeah, how did when that we're sitting before the challenge, I mean, I always felt good with TJ through Allison and Dave, particularly Allison. Gotcha. Um, I knew that I didn't have, you kind of can't make those connections you can make while sitting around during the merge with people who you haven't played with yet. So a lot of your trust has to come in, trust your allies have. So, um, but I remember after the mergatory vote where Topher goes home, we're all sitting under the shade waiting for the challenge to start. And TJ says, just so everyone knows, I I don't hold any grudges or what, however he phrased it for not being a part of the majority vote. And I don't hold any grudges for not knowing the plan to play the idol. (laughs) <laughs> which no one knew the plan to play the idol yeah <laughs> and i was like huh and so like when everyone stood up i was like i didn't tell anyone i was doing that and he was like oh thank god <laughs> um so i felt okay with the flag staff free plus myself and then whoever the other vote was i figure out pretty quickly that if seth voted for dave it must have been amelia so oops i fucked up um so <laughs> so amelia could have been on your side more but you kind yeah. of voted for her yeah um which how much it played into it you know i fucked up oops um yeah, yeah. but um but i i remember after allison wins first thing i do is grab amelia because by that point i figured out she was the other vote okay i grab her i pull her to the side i'm so sorry a cameraman didn't follow us i even look back Oh, they didn't no. follow us. Shit. Oh. <laughs> but I say, I followed you. <laughs> yeah. But I'm like, look, uh, just so you know, I was the vote for you. Um, Topher told me all of Moosehead was voting for Dave. So I had heard your name. So I put the vote on you. I fully admit that was wrong. I totally made a mistake going forward. I would want to work with you because you voted for Topher. Um, we're going to need to stick together because they seem to me to be a very tight group. Um, we're going to have to, you know, us and the other people who voted Topher, we're going to have to really stick together on this vote. Super apologize for writing your name down. It will not happen again. How much that worked, I don't know. She said, like, yeah, totally. Totally could have been BS and me. Would have been right. I wrote her name down. Um, But I'm like, all right, I got to get Amelia and I got to get Seth. Those are in my, the way I look at it, the only people realistically from the knowledge I have that I think could be swings here. Mm -hmm. And we need those two to get the six. Mm -hmm. um so i talk with her i confer with the other topher votes um and they are all presenting to me that they're good on uh this vote yeah and then um i talk with seth i think allison was the first one to talk with seth allison had suggested nick and seth had seemed into it to allison 
So we decided on Nick for this vote to try and get um, Amelia and um, Seth to vote with uh, the rest of us. Okay, so your That's plan was to make happen. your plan was why would we, why did you guys choose Nick? Um, because when Allison talked with um, when Allison talked with Seth, she she later told me that it seemed like that could be um, something he was into. Okay. So because Nick, Seth was one of the swing votes from where I was sitting and where they were sitting, we should go with something they're good to do. So we decide on on Nick in hopes that Seth is actually good to go along with it. Okay. And realistically, again, from our knowledge, Amelia should be good with that too. Yeah. Because of the, the very first vote. Well, so from what I know of mm -hmm. the, what's it called? That tribe, that tribe of those four, what are they called? Moosehead or? Moosehead, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I forget their name too. I call them like bullhead a bunch. Yeah. Nick was the one that nobody trusted. Mm. So he was on the bottom. So, I mean, that could have, I think that that w was like maybe going somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um and that TJ. So let's say you were able to do you, Dave, Allison, uh, Amelia, and TJ, because they're kind of a pair a little bit at that point. Mm -hmm. That would have been um, enough if you had five, right? Because it was nine. No, we need six. We would need. Oh, we, ten. We would need ten. Seth. Yeah, there was yeah, ten yeah. people, okay. so we would need Seth as well, or one of the other ones. But I didn't. It, I didn't. Pres I didn't imagine any of the moose head would flip on each other. But at that point, Seth, from Seth would have been uh, fine to go with Amelia. I think they were already making some um, mm -hmm. bonds there. So it could have worked, but you had just made yourself a huge target. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was well aware of that. Um, yeah. I knew the votes were coming on me. I did think, like, I think going into it, I do think I have the votes, but I know it's it's not like, I don't get blindsided this vote. Yeah. I get like, ah geez i thought i could have escaped it but like mm -hmm. obviously i know i'm the next one um i think at one point like i don't uh, who knows who means what when they say it i think at one point dave says he thinks they're voting for that for him and i like yeah come on dave um i think they were supposed to and then and then it changed because... oh what the heck <laughs> well oh, my luck sucked this season i forget I guess. who i forget who told me that that um it would have been dave but but that then because you played the idol, people people were like sketched out by you. Oh. I forget yeah, who yeah. told me that. Yeah. You no, know, I mean, I'd like someone who plays an idol for an ally. I'm just saying, you know, I'm so a very generous I. type of ally, <laughs> very <laughs> generous type of person. And, you know, I mean, you, Dave and Allison voted together. The one mm -hmm. you played the idol on and the one you told about it first, yeah. they, they were with you. Yeah, I mean, and that's the tough thing is like, Whoever we lose, I think we lose from my quick, you know, talking with people as I'm sitting on the jury. I think we lose Seth first. I don't know how necessary. My, I imagine it's Lauren who gets Seth because I think they had some oh, type yeah. of connection. Yeah, yeah. So Lauren gets Seth to away from us. Mm -hmm. So then it's five five, and mm -hmm. like why the why the fuck are TJ and Amelia gonna draw a rock for me? so yeah they're like, they're the like, second we're i on a sinking ship yeah we need the to second go. i lose one like i'm gone yeah you know? yeah yeah so that's why it's also like um and like yes like with more knowledge knowledge i'm most you know some of this knowledge i'm getting now to be fair but like with more knowledge i definitely wish i did do things differently and held on to the idol and mm -hmm. tried to play things um a, a little smoother but like in the moment it's like with the information I have and then exactly. getting out there, it's like, yeah. yeah, that sucked, but it's like, it was, I figured it was probably going to happen anyway. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, w with the information that you had at the time, mm -hmm. a cool, a cool, fun move. Oh man. You just have that gamer face, Zach. People are just no, like, no, I do. I'm just, I, I just, I, I, I can't, like, it always happens. Everything, <laughs> everything I do when I play Mafia. <laughs> when I, 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 I could be nothing and people, I could just be sitting there. People like think I'm suspicious. <laughs> people never believe me with stuff. Like I just like invisibly a gamer. Yeah, like, you got to shave the beard. I, I, I just, I, yeah, I, sh I shave, shave my ba beard so I have my 14 year old baby face. Yes. And um, I need to, I just like, I have, I visibly think I can't, yeah, I can't control yeah. it. I have a visible thinking face. It's mm -hmm. very difficult 
um, difficult thing to deal with. Um, but you I don't know. D- next yeah. LRG, you gotta shave the beard. That'd be that'd be hilarious. That might be the move. I'm really gonna consider it. My wife should, will, will not be happy be about so it. But, yeah. um, It'll grow back. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> um, oh man, maybe that's the move. I'll 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 keep it in mind. <laughs> I hope you play like so, like next summer. You play something, and I see baby face Zach. You won't recognize. <laughs> I know. Scary, I'm like, like, who the fuck's this guy? <laughs> it'll it'll look like my like baby brother. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, maybe do. that's it. I don't know. That's something I also know I struggle with. Is like managing my friend level. Um, yeah. I felt I like had done it at a good point. Come like the swap, mm-hmm. I had managed to like do that. Um, you know, that was probably my high point in the game. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I do bet when things like really start to go bad. Um, I struggle and flame out, and like I just know I do. Um, and it's tough not to. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, I want to work on it. Um, I think I mentioned this in our pre-game yeah. interview. Um, the sucky thing about allergies, you can't practice much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. The practice is just doing it. You know. So when I play my like. 10th LRG like I'll have like learned from all my mistakes mm-hmm, mm-hmm. when I'm like two grand that's generous like four grand right in the hole, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you might win that that hundred dollar prize or whatever the fuck. yeah for real <laughs> yeah. oh man um uh how did you do in um millennium millennium park that's the one right uh I would say that was a worse flame out um, okay good that was you I mean already um I mean it depends I mean clearly from people from learning more information this wasn't the right move but at least that one i like tried to make a move blew up in my face instantly and then i went to a double tribal and promptly got booted okay with this one like i succeeded in something and then failed yeah yeah so you know better Better. the the data fans love me though i'm you know yeah right yeah this whole family's gonna you're gonna be the hero (laughs) i know yeah so there's that (laughs) it looks cool like i said you know i've played now the next time i've got an idol burning a hole in my pocket i won't be so you know ready to play it you know zach i think you it could be said that you maybe even saved the season by getting okay. Topher out because mm. fuck that pre-game bullshit mm-hmm. with him and Adam and mm. Callie, right? That is the other thing. I was yes. definitely very uh, crestfallen is the appropriate word after getting voted out because I was like, I should have saved my life. I shouldn't <laughs> have made a move. What did it? Then like when cameras rap and they say that, I'm like, I broke up the pre-game tree. Yes. This is amazing. Like, okay like i can feel better at least like i also get out over at yes. the end of the day no which, I, um, i'm hearing yeah. soaring violins i'm hearing like zach saves the season <laughs> oh that is, you know what like i can if i never win a game if i'm always <laughs> early merge but i consistently am team tv yes i can live with that i Absolutely. can totally live with that yes um so yeah, I'm great with that as a negative. Probably gets me cast in more games too, instead of right? infinitely being the alternate. <laughs> I was the alternate for this. Oh no way! <laughs> yeah. Um. So I I can live uh with with fun moments, even if they are not the best move. Um. As much as right. I would love to be uh the the brilliant strategist my mind wants me to be. Mm-hmm. Um. Fun fun stuffs um fun. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I love it as the editor. I yeah. that's all I care about. <laughs> who's yeah. the who's the best TV? That's all I care about. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. All right. So, well, let's talk about your jury experience. Mm-hmm. Final tribal. So, what are you learning in jury? Like, did you have a good time? Did you get to eat? <laughs> yeah, jury. I mean, like I said, like early jury is like the spot to be if you're gonna like lose this game. Um. Mm-hmm because you get to like be in the early like setting of like you're getting all that information coming in you're starting to learn the truth uh but yeah it's nice to like start to learn information and learn what you were right about learn like what you were wrong learn when things went wrong um and it's fun to like watch the game unfold and like this was a pretty season pretty great season yeah 
to get a front row seat for honestly <laughs> um it was really nice like and i hope it holds up on film like you know when it all ends them saying like this was a really good season this was fun to watch i think matt said season three was mad because they thought it was better than their season it's not <laughs> my quote think that. one they... of them said that no, I know. They And the season two people who filmed season three were like, this is way better than our season. So it's mm-hmm. going to happen every time. But I, yeah. I think I think it maybe is like each season's just getting better mm-hmm. and the gameplay is getting more yeah. exciting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this was a wild season. Um, a lot of crazy <laughs> shit to watch unfold. So it was nice to watch that. Um, And like, it's cool people getting voted out. I mean, everyone who made Merge like gets along really well. There's no like, like, I don't think, I, I personally don't, actually dislike anyone yeah. um i hope oh, the feeling lauren, mutual. lauren said that too lauren, lauren said that too <laughs> I, I wasn't gonna say her i wasn't gonna say it i wasn't gonna say oh i hope lauren doesn't actually hate me <laughs> no, but i was thinking it yeah um i had a lot of fun with my rivalry with lauren that's really actually good um to hear <laughs> um but yeah everyone was super cool um and it was you know it was an awesome season to watch unfold awesome yeah. Okay, well then, if there's a, a surviving main all-star season, are you coming back? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I would love to. Um, if if you know, it, I mean, it, I'm I'm I was still surprised like to even be considered as an alternate. I don't think I'm like I'm a little down on myself in terms of how interesting I am. I don't think I'm huh. like, especially with the people you see in these games. Like uh-huh. it's very clear why some people get cast and like. I'm a little down on myself sometimes, like how like interesting I can present myself or how like how much I might add to a game. So to even get cast is like such an honor. <laughs> Genuinely, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Yeah. Um, if if I was even considered for all stars, if they were like, yeah, you were like the fifth backup, I'd be like, oh my god, thank you. <laughs> like to even like you know consider me. Um, that would be mind blowing. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you want to plug anything before we go? Yeah, hopefully should either episode should be out by now or coming out soon. Um, I host my own LRG. It is called The Genius Massachusetts. It's um, based off a South Korean show called The Genius. Um, quickest way to sum it up is think of the challenge, but instead of physical competitions, it's games based around social sh- and strategy. Um you can check out the the show itself if um, the episodes aren't out or if the episodes are out by now, go subscribe to us on the genius Massachusetts. If you're a really, if you're a gamer like me, mm-hmm. um, it, it is like where gamers thrive. Um, yeah. It is like the perfect environment and, you know, no, no having to manage your stupid prep level in the genius. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all mental. There's no like bashing yeah, no, anyone. There's yeah, no... no physical components. It's all like, Imagine like you got all your LRG friends together for like a board game night. Um, it's that, and it mm-hmm. it rules. I love the genius. I'm super passionate about it, hence you know why I'm doing a, <laughs> an LRG on it. Um, I was saying you know before we recorded that you know applications as of right now, the moment this is being recorded, are open for like two more weeks, and we're already at thirty applicants. And like nice. a lot of these people are strong, like. You know, I'm I'm gonna have some tough decisions to make when it comes time to actually cast just eleven people. Ooh, so just 11, it's gonna be a huh? really yeah, it's gonna be a really good season. So go subscribe that's to great. that page. Keep those keep those other people like like hey, apply next year. Mm-hmm. Like, always have a steady stream. Mm-hmm. Cause, exactly. Because some people get um discouraged, like, well, fuck that show, they didn't want me. Mm-hmm. You know, fuck that LRG. So mm-hmm. so keep them. <laughs> like yep. keep them close. Yeah. Um. So the genius Massachusetts. Uh, check for it on YouTube and mm-hmm. Facebook. Maybe they'll be casting mm-hmm. for season three by the time. Yeah, this- we oh. should be if uh, as long as I don't lose my mind doing season two yeah. <laughs> and don't do a season three. Right. With when this is going up, we are probably actively casting for season three. Awesome. So um, check it out and apply. And yeah. uh, it's really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really awesome. good at selling things. This is this is why. <laughs> This is, I can't believe I didn't convince people to vote with me when I got voted <laughs> out. I'm so good at pitching things. Hey, vote for Nick. It'll be awesome. <laughs> it would have been just saying it would have been really awesome. <laughs> All right, Zach. It was really fun to talk to you. Thank you. Yeah, it's yeah. great to talk with you too. I, 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 um, I always said if I got on Survivor, my like bottom, like lowest goal, not my lowest goal, but like 
at the very least kind of goal if i got on survivor is good enough to do an rhap uh, yes. rhap deep dive yes. so my goal of surviving main legit was do well enough to, to do a deep dive here <laughs> um <Yes. laughs> so it was it was uh it was really fun and uh it, it's nice to just get all these thoughts out and see what's yeah. true and what's paranoia and um you know take the next step of many to finally making it past early merge in one of these games <laughs> yes yes good luck to you yeah, yeah. someday <laughs> far in the future when i'm 35 and and bald in the face not on the top. yeah maybe i'll shave my entire head maybe i'll just <laughs> make people won't know and go by a different name who knows yeah i mean topher did that he goes by chris in his normal life and he's like game oh he doesn't even go by topher <laughs> it's like his game persona or something I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm Whoa, talking. To there's him a real him. gamer. I'm glad I took it out. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> All uh, right, Zach. <laughs> you have a good night. And yeah, you as well. Thank you so much. And and best of luck trying to put all this together. Yeah. yeah thank you. <laughs> yeah. More will be revealed. Ah, can't wait. <laughs> Bye. Bye.